My answer which? Is this game worth your time? Well, let's have a look. Hello and welcome to the Critic Uculus. I'm the Monk and today I'm reviewing My Aunt's a Witch. My Aunt's a Witch is a visual novel full of adventures and quests. In a world of magic where you have the incredible chance to become an apprentice to one of the most particular and charismatic witches, you play as a boy named Thomas. Now, this game was developed by Graven Visual Novels and published by Sometimes You, who actually sent me a key for this. So thank you very much for sending me a key to this. Um, it's currently on the PlayStation, Xbox and the Switch. And it is currently priced at around £7. Now, when I tried to look up the price, there were a few different price tags. Um, depending on what you're buying it on, this can cost as much as £10. Uh, which, personally, I think is a little too much for this game. Well, actually, I think it's a hell of a lot too much for this game. Um, this is a visual novel. I've played exactly three of them this year. Um, this being the third, and I have to say this is the worst one out of all of them. Um, visually, it's just incredibly dull. You know, every single scene seems to be exactly the same. Every now and again, you come up against a scene which is very, very busy. Obviously, a lot of effort's been put into it. Um, but for me, I just found it incredibly dull. Um, what you're seeing on screen now is the very beginning of the game. Um, now, it goes on for a long time, and I do mean a long time. There's a lot of reading to go through and a lot of dialogue to go through. Um, a lot of the same scenes that all you're seeing move is, you know, tiny bits of leaves and a cat and a hat, you know. And uh, like I said, it does go on for a very long time uh, like that, where it's telling you a story and all it wants you to do is basically read what's on the screen. Um so I showed you, I've, I don't know how long this review is going to run for, but I'm basically showing you a you know, direct clip from the beginning. But I can assure you that this scene, this part to where you can actually move a cursor over the screen to look for clues to do with this, uh, these quests that it does give you. Um, it lasts for, well, it took me about 45 to 55 minutes to actually get through all of the dialogue and actually get into the game. Um, to me, that's just incredibly uninteresting. And to top it off, unfortunately, when I tried to actually log in and play this game, the game refused to load. It, it just straight up refused to let me go in. I had to, it, it wanted me to sign into my account so I could play it. So of course I did that. That's not a problem. It's pretty standard, in fact. Um, but the game refused to, refused to recognize that I'd even signed in which was a massive problem. You know, I, I had to shut the game down a few times, uh, had to hard reset my Xbox, and it just it just wouldn't do it. Eventually, I got this game to work. Now, one of the things I do, I've got nine points, and then I've got my own personal point, but that's what I judge this game on, you know, is, is my own personal views on the game from playing it, and then, you know, a strict nine points on what I what I will score the game on. And one of them is very simple, is does the game work? And so the game had to lose points just for that. You know, secondly, I played one of these games earlier in a year, which was in a hell of a lot better than this visually, uh, dialogue wise. You know, and it, it was, a, I think, a pound. This cost seven. It's... Um, it's way overpriced. The game didn't work for me for a good while, and it's just very, very dull and uninteresting. I'm sorry that I can't bring you a better review. I would like to give a good review to every game I play, but unfortunately, some games are just better than others. Maybe you guys will have a different idea. For me personally, this narrative-driven game just lacks interest. Now, there are quest elements in this game, um, but it is just point and click and it is extremely uh, simple. You know, it's there are interactive features, but it is you just clicking on a cupboard or you're clicking on an arrow to change room. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. It's not any of it is voice acted. 
I also found the writing particularly dull as well. Now, I'd love to this game a better review. I really, I, I actually really enjoy these sort of uh, these sort of games. I've enjoyed the two others that I've played this year, um, but this one left me wanting a lot more, unfortunately. So I'm not going to drag this review on because I don't like ranting about a game. I find it annoying, and unfortunately, this game left me annoyed. Um, so I'm going to give this game a very incredibly low 2 out of 10. It is my lowest score all year. Is it the worst game I've played all year? Well, that video is going to come up and it is unfortunately definitely a contender. I did actually give this game a half a point just for working in the end. Um, but, you know, that really annoyed me at the beginning of this game for at least an hour trying to log in and actually play it um it seems like something really small but it is what it is um anyway i have been the monk and we've been a critically curious if you've enjoyed this game this game if you've enjoyed this game then let me know in the comments and tell me what it is about this game that you've enjoyed because that is a very good point if you've played this game um and you've enjoyed it then let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Maybe, you know, maybe I was looking at this game in the wrong light. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong. So let me know in the comments what you think uh, about this game. But I have been a monk. We've been a critically coolest. And guys, I will catch you in the next video real soon. See you later.